So what if I told you that Google's new notebook LM can take your messy notes, summarize them, and then boom, turn them into a podcast you can listen to on the go? Yeah, that's real. We're not talking theory here. This could change the way you handle research, writing, and even content creation. We're going deep today into how this AI could reshape workflows and, frankly, save hours of your time. First, okay, listen so to this demo. AI, it's right. absolutely mind-blowing. Like, it's not just playing chess anymore. No, not at all. It's writing PhD code in an hour. Like, what? Yeah, it's it's a lot to process. And, you know, you, our listeners, you sent over this fascinating stuff about OpenAI and this rumored new model, Orion. And we are here to, like, unpack that, help you decode all the clues, and make sense of what it all means. Yeah, because this isn't just like any old AI, right? Bro. This Orion thing seems like it's a whole other level, even from what we've seen recently. It really does. Yeah. And to understand that excitement, we need to take a step back and talk about OpenAI's recently released model Strawberry, or as it's officially known, GPT-5. Right. It's been making headlines for good reason. It's more than just a chatbot now, right? Oh, way more. GPT-5 is doing things that were practically unthinkable a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Remember that story you sent over about it writing content for a physicist PhD research on black holes? Yeah. It took the physicist a year to do. GPT-5 did it in an hour. And the physicist's reaction in that clip, that was amazing. Oh, I know. It was like, this is incredible, but also, am I out of a job? Yeah. And that reaction really gets at why GPT-5 is so significant. Yeah. Because it's not just that it can write code, it's that it seems to actually grasp these complex scientific concepts. There's a level of understanding there that we haven't seen from AI before. So it's not just brute force computation anymore, it's like actual reasoning. Yeah. You're hitting on something really important, which is this idea of inference time. Basically, the amount of time the model is given to think before producing an output. Okay, so instead of just like spitting out the first answer it gets, it can actually like ponder it for a minute. Exactly. The longer the inference time for GPT-5, the higher its score went. Sure. Almost like you can see it learning and adapting its approach, you know, like in real time. Wow. All right, let me walk you through how to use Google's Notebook LM. And trust me, this is going to feel like stepping into the future of content generation. First off, you need access to the tool, which right now is still in beta Google's rolling it out gradually. So not everyone has it yet. Once you get in, the setup is pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of power under the hood that's not obvious right away. Okay, so here's the deal. When you first open Notebook LM, you're looking at a pretty clean interface. You'll have a main dashboard where you can upload different data sources. This could be PDFs, text files, websites, whatever you've got. What's cool is how seamless this process is. You don't need to manually break down the content or highlight sections. Just drag and drop your file into the system and it handles all the heavy lifting. Now, this is where it starts to get interesting. Let's say you've uploaded a long PDF, something like a technical paper or a white paper. Normally, you'd have to slog through all that, right? Not here. Notebook LM scans the entire document in minutes and produces a detailed summary. And I'm not talking about a half-baked overview. This is a well-structured breakdown that covers all the key points. Once it's done with the summary, you can interact with the content in ways we haven't really seen before. You can ask it specific questions like, Hey, what's the main argument in chapter three? Or can you explain the results section in more detail? And it responds just like ChatGPT does, but with info pulled directly from your file. It's almost like having a personal assistant who's read the whole document and can give you answers on the spot. Now we know that tools like ChatPDF or some of the other AI summarizers out there already do this. So what makes Notebook LM special? Well, it seems like Google's integrated some next level tech here specifically using the Gemini long context window instead of a more typical vector search approach. In plain terms, this means Notebook LM can look at your entire document at once, rather than just chunks of it so the answers it gives are contextually on point. Here's where it really gets wild. Notebook LM has a podcast generation feature. Yeah, you heard me right. After it's done summarizing or answering your questions, there's an option to generate podcast. And it's not like the basic text-to-speech we're used to. This thing pumps out audio that's so natural, You'd almost believe it's a real person talking. It's got pauses, intonation, emphasis, all the stuff that makes audio content engaging. You can create your own AI-driven podcast based on a document in minutes. I've tried it, and the quality is next level. Google's really nailed the audio delivery here. It's not robotic, not even a little. What makes this particularly useful is the ability to upload multiple sources, up to 50 of them. So, say you're working on a complex topic with data from different places, Notebook LM synthesizes that info and gives you a coherent narrative. I've thrown a bunch of different formats at it PDFs, 
some scraped data from websites, and every time, it handles it like a pro. By the way, if you're wondering about the time it takes, this part surprised me. The processing speed is crazy fast. You upload a big PDF, and in two to three minutes, it's ready with summaries, detailed answers, and even a podcast option. That's way quicker than I expected, especially considering the complexity of the documents I was testing it with. So yeah, that's how you use Notebook LM. Simple at first glance, but the depth of what it can do. That's something we haven't seen before, at least not at this level of refinement. It's like Google's taken all the best parts of AI summarization, added their own spin, and turbocharged it with that podcast feature. Definitely worth trying out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Notebook LM in the comments below. How do you think it could change your work? Thanks for watching.